My name is Dominic Reisig. I'm an associate professor and extension specialist. We're out here at some of the, the research plots. The purpose of this experiment is to figure out where different size corn earworm larvae feed on different parts of the plant. So the past few years I'd say our main insect pests were the piercing sucking insect pests, stink bugs and kudzu bug. This year it seems like it's more of a caterpillar year, so a lot more corn earworm. We're seeing soybean looper showing up early. Before we had insecticides, cultural controls were one of the best ways to grow crops. And what I mean by cultural control is exactly what you said. You can change the maturity of your, your crop, basically when it flowers and, and reproduces, or you can change your planting date, which again is going to affect when it, when it flowers or reproduces. So on average, our earlier planted soybeans tend to have fewer insect problems, and our earlier maturity groups tend to have fewer insect problems than our later planted soybeans or later maturity groups. And the reason for that is that uh, some of our pests are migratory, so they don't show up until later in the season. And then as the season progresses, we have more heat units and insects are very influenced by heat. So they're gonna undergo more generations. There's gonna simply be more insects later in the season than earlier. <laughs> 